Welcome friends and my dear students. Today we are going to see about 6th standard science term 2 and unit 5 part 2 video. The part 1 video we saw about shape of the cells, size of the cell and discovery of the cell. In this video part 2 we are going to deal with types of the cell. So the majorly the cells are classified to two types one is prokaryotic cells another one is eukaryotic cells prokaryotic cells are mostly unicellular organisms just like bacteria they don't possess true nucleus karyotic the karyon means nucleus pro means before so these organisms are formed before the formation of true nucleus so this is called prokaryotic organisms all the prokaryotic organisms are unicellular in nature just like bacteria so these are the cells are first formed on earth after big bang theory the life is formed with prokaryotic organisms the sizes ranges from 0 0.03 to 2.0 micrometer example e coli commonly called as essertia coli now we can see the inside the cytoplasm we have chromosome it never bounded with nucleus like structures so it is called prokaryotic organisms next we are going to see eukaryotic organism u means true so it possesses true nucleus these cells are bigger than the prokaryotic organisms it having cell our organelles are bounded by membranes mostly plant cells and animal cells fungi and algae it is a typical prokaryotic cell now you can see the nucleus inside we have nucleolus it having two double membrane structure nucleus so when the nucleus is present then this cell is said to be a eukaryotic cell it having some other cell organelles just like mitochondria chloroplast and plant cells Okay, next we are going to see and observe the uh, onion skin. We can peel the onion skin and with the help of slide, we can easily identify this structure with microscope. So, for that we need some iodine solution. The pail will be going with iodine solution, then it will be placed in the microscope. Now, you can see the uh, different uh, layers of cells. So, this each and every layer is a cell what is the dot we can see in the denser structure is called nucleus so it is a typical eukaryotic cell now we can see the difference between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell their diameter is 1 to 2 micrometer but its diameter ranges from 10 to 100 micrometers absence of membrane bound cell organelles just like mitochondria chloroplast it having a membrane bound cell organelles Nucleus is not surrounded by nuclear membrane. So, here the chromosome is not present. So, the uh, uh, chromosomes are uh, here the chromosomes are not surrounded by nucleus membrane. So, it is absence of nucleoli. Here the true nucleus is surrounded by nuclear membrane materials. Then the chromosomes are present in the nucleus. It having nucleoli. Now we can see the difference between plant cell and animal cell based on the organism. So all these two cells are eukaryotic in nature. Plant cells are typically larger in size than that of an animal cell. Plant cell having cell wall. This is a cell wall which give a rigid and prominent shape to the plant cell. It having chloroplast. The green color structure what you see is a chloroplast which is the reason for photosynthesis to produce food. It having very big vacuole. This is a vacuole which having a cell sap. For that reason only, plant cells are bigger. Same thing, it can easily imbibe water and it transport water. So, this is the structure of plant cell. My dear students, just draw and practice plant cell structure. It is a very important question for all the parts of exams. Next is animal cell. Animal cells are generally smaller than plant cell. It is not hard because it doesn't possess cell wall. Cell wall is absent. Chloroplast is absent. So it cannot produce its own food. 
animal cells having very small vacuoles very very small vacuoles it process centrioles so the centrioles is an organ cell organ present only in animal cell same way chloroplast present only in plant cell so these are the difference between a plant cell and animal cell this is the uh, structure of 3d structure of an animal cell now you can see cell membrane otherwise called as plasma membrane nucleus nucleolus cytoplasm all the cell organelles are present in the cytoplasm mitochondria is said to be the power house of the cell which produce energy which convert the energy into atp then endoplasmic reticulum so these are the 3d structure of an animal cell here uh, there is an activity you can prepare your 3d and 2d model with the help of marbles or some other structures clay and all you try it and if you have any doubts make a comment in the comment section now you can see uh, cell organelles and their main functions first is cell wall cell wall is just like a gatekeeper which protect our cell then it makes cell stiff and strong it giving supporter and protector present only in plant cell next cell membrane cell membrane is a universal membrane which is a gate like in cell which protect the cell same thing it control movement of material from in and out of the cell cytoplasm is a watery and jelly like structure which is just like a, our room all the cell organelles are present in the cytoplasm it is a area of movement mitochondria is a supply energy to the cell it is a power house of the cell chloroplast it is a green color pigment it produce uh, energy with the help of sunlight so it is a food producer it present only in the plant cell vacuole it store food water and chemicals it is a storage tank it is bigger in plant cell and smaller in animal cell nucleus it acts like a brain it regulates the control the cell activities all the things are controlled by nucleus it is a control center nucleus membrane it is a protective layer of nucleus it is double membrane so it control the movement of cell material from inside and outside of the nucleolus it is a gate of nucleus how the cell membrane act same thing nuclear membrane will be acting on the cell so here you should understand all the organisms are made up of cells cell is the basic unit of living organism based on the nucleus we classify the cells into prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells both plant cell and animal cells have unique cell organelles they have capable of carrying out specialized structures plant cell having two unique components such as cell wall and chloroplast which is compared to animal cell there is an ict corner activity this will be sent in the next video if you have any doubts keep comment thank you